Hi everyone, I'm K2. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to paint more flowers. Let's get started. The subject today is this pink purple flower called Bauhinia, which is the city flower of Hong Kong. And I'm going to use blue to paint this flower. And I'm going to use two brushes, the blue, yellow, orange color, and ink. The blue color is the indigo that I have always used and it is the traditional Chinese watercolor made with a natural material which is a type of plant. And then when I need the plant natural green color I use the yellow color to mix with the blue. Someone has asked me about how to mix color with different shades and then you always start with the lighter color in this case that's the yellow and then the blue. And then I dip a bit of orange color to paint the back of the bird and also the hat. If you want your birds to be colorful, you have to rinse your brush every time and uh, take a different shades of color to paint the different parts. Most of the traditional Chinese watercolor are obtained from plants and minerals. This natural indigo color is obtained from a type of indigo vera plant which can be found in northern China, Korea, and Japan. If you take a look at some of the ancient Chinese painting, you probably won't be able to find any violet or purple color. That's why most of the artists would use blue to paint purple flowers or other subjects that has a blue tone. I like the idea of using traditional natural color. Of course, as time goes by, there are more imports of Western watercolor materials into China, adding a lot more color to use for a Chinese painting. And there are in two forms, which is easy to use. And a lot cheaper too. But I found that the colors are too vibrant and unnatural to me. That's why I stick to use the traditional Chinese color. The other things that I haven't tried are the Japanese brands and there are a couple of brands that um, are quite popular in the Chinese painting supply shop so maybe I'll give it a try a little later and see how different they are. Maybe they are better. For now I'm still using the most famous uh, brand in China and which I would put it in the description below. I'm painting the pistols and stamens, which are long and curved up, all facing towards this main petal, which is in darker color. And I've just used some darker blue color to paint some lines. And then the rest of the petals are well subtle, and I'm using just water. That's why you don't see anything. Now I'm adding some veins on the leaves with green color. If you can't see it well, then I'll show you a close-up at the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you like this video. If you haven't subscribed yet and like this type of demonstration, please do so and press the bell notification button. I'll see you next time.